Imagine you get an email and AI replies for you automatically. Or imagine you paste this into Google Sheets and it immediately turns into this. Would that help you become more productive? Set this up once, save hours per week and get more things done. AI automation is a very sought after role in any company right now. So pay very close attention because I'm going to show you everything step by step right now. If you want to follow along with me in this video, you can click the description down below to get a one month pro plan completely for free so we can do it together. Number one, Excel automation. If you use Excel, this will be your favorite. It's one of the most popular templates on make.com. Over 2,600 people using it right now. But how does it work? I'm going to connect my Google account, then click on spreadsheet ID, click on the slash, and we're going to click on the auto email. It says this template requires two named columns, input and completion. Okay, let's do it input and click on continue. But the magic only happens when we go to step number two and choose the OpenAI account. Here we can select the prompt. What are five effective SEO keywords that could be used to optimize an article about the input A, right? So I'm just going to write in input A now. Let's do men's fashion. But this technically could just be anything. Even it could be really, really long if you wanted to. I'll click on continue. But first, we need to set up the completion field. So I think everything seems to be correct right here. I'm just going to click on continue. Now let's run it. Okay, it was successful. And there we have it. Five SEO keywords, but it could be used for so much more. You now have the power to automate Google Sheets. What will you use? use it for. If you don't use sheets that much, let's look at number two, automate emails. Look, everybody sends emails, but almost nobody is automating it. Most companies have like the sign off automated. Therefore, let me show you exactly how to use this. So the first step here is the email where it's watching emails. We just have to add our account and I selected my business email. I can now open this inbox and you can see that we have a bunch of folders that we can look for. We're just going to do inbox criteria. Let's do all emails and you can select which type of criteria. For example, sender email. So you only want it when it's this type of sender. Now the recipient email address is always going to be me. We can add a subject phrase that we're looking for. You can mark it as red if you want maximum number of results and we're going to click on OK. But we need to choose where to start so we can do from now on. So all the emails that come in the future or we can do emails after a specific date back in time or all emails or select the first email. We're going to select a date. I'm just going to go a week back and we completed the first step. But it's not going to be cool unless we go to the next step that has the open AI create a completion. So I'm going to click on this. I need to choose my account and here you can select a method. We're going to do a completion. Then we can choose a model. The one we have now is text da Vinci 003. There's a bunch of them right here that you can select between. But the prompt is categorize the following email text content. So this is the raw text into one of these categories. This is going to be specific to your case. I'm going to name it requests, issues and testimonial. Click on OK, because now we're going to go into the Google Sheets. Now we just select a spreadsheet like this one. We can add a name to it. I'm just going to create a new file called auto email. And now you can see auto email in here. It will run through a filter that has this text operator sort by ascending and we just set it up. Seems like we have an issue here, but this is going to fix itself later. So let's continue with the last chat GPT node here. This is almost the exact same as before, except we're going to use the user here instead of a system or an assistant. And we're going to get this parameter here B, which is the categorization that we did as well as the text content that we got from step number one. And then we're going to write the prompt answer this email for me. So we can go to the last step to create an email draft folder draft drafts email address example, you get the subject and you get the content. Let's try to run it again. And you can see now that it's running through the entire automation. Boom, we got it completed. And just like that, the entire email is just drafted for us and it's doing it for every single email. Can you see yourself using this? But maybe you're not sending that many emails. But if you're not sending that many emails, maybe you want to check out our next automation. Number three, here we're going to use the ChatGPT vision model to analyze an image. 
All we need to do is send an image to a Gmail account as an attachment. It then uses ChatGPT's vision to actually see what's going on and then it sends you an email back with your prompt. As you can see, I uploaded this image of me smiling and we got the response. There is a man smiling at the camera with a half raised hand showing a peace sign. He has a beard and a friendly expression. The individual appears to be indoors as suggested by the ceiling lights and the interior background. You could easily use this for spreadsheet data as well, even graphs and custom software. Making this automation is simple add a watch emails wherever there is a subject coming in that is called image, it will run through the entire process. Then with the OpenAI connection, you can prompt it anything you want. I asked it, what do you see in this image? And it's important that you add this attachment data, which you can find under attachment and under data. And the final step, it just sends you an email back with the subject image answer. Simple and powerful way of using GPT vision. Automation number four, e-commerce automation. Look, if you run a Shopify store or if you're using a tool like WooCommerce, they are great, but requires a lot of manual input. Therefore, you can use one of these automations to automate your e-commerce store with AI. Let me show you how. Here is the automation, and this is exactly how you would do it in WooCommerce as well. What it looks for is a product that is new on your Shopify store. Then we'll bring it into OpenAI. Here you can see that the model we're using is GPT-4 and the message that we give to it looks like this. You are an e-commerce specialist that sells electronics and your specialty is to write persuasive product descriptions. As you can see, it uses the title of the product multiple times throughout this prompt, all automatically so you don't have to do anything. Then we'll get the markdown node here that basically just that basically just formats your message and it will then automatically update your product that you just specified with the new description. So set this one up once and you'll never have to write product descriptions again. Automation number five, automatic customer service. Look, this one we're gonna use Sendesk, but you can use any other type of gathering information or customer support tool because customer support is extremely important. But it's very tedious and just imagine you can half your time it takes to do customer support and the customer gets a better experience. Therefore, this one is a no brainer that anybody that has customer support should set up. So the first node just watches automatically for new tickets and we bring it into OpenAI where the prompt is classify the following ticket description into one of the following categories. And here are the four different categories. If they don't fall into any category, then categorize them as general. Then we go over to Sendesk once again, and it will actually search for the users that we are trying to update. It's gonna use this array aggregator to do exactly the search user and update this user ID and nothing else, but obviously, you could customize this to anything you want. We'll then use the tools node to set a variable that then updates the ticket in Zendesk. But if I would set this up, I would actually go one step further. You would take the description of the customer support ticket and you would add a node of ChatGPT that can create a completed email draft for you. So 80% of the message is actually done. You can just fine tune it a little bit and send that customer email back. So now you have better customer support and you save so much time because AI is doing 80% of the work for you. Automation number six, content redistribution. Look, if you make any sort of content, you probably use an hour or two to create that, right? But you might not optimize for every single social media platforms that can give you even more followers. Therefore, you can use this exact template to automate that for you. Here's how I'm just gonna click on get this template. You can see over a 1000 people have been using this. The first node triggers because it's watching for a WordPress post. This could be anything else, maybe even an email or updating a document. Instead, what I would do is make this trigger on a TikTok. we get the transcription 
that then turns into all of these other social media platforms. Then it goes directly into ChatGPT. And here is the message. You're a social media manager responsible for creating LinkedIn posts for your tech company. Your task is to write a SEO friendly tweet, LinkedIn post and Facebook posts. And here you can see that they have the title from WordPress, the content and the URL. It then goes through a text parser that essentially matches these patterns like tweet, LinkedIn post and a Facebook post, which then will bring it into the router that goes to Twitter, LinkedIn or Facebook and I actually have a new OpenAI chat GPT here to gather the LinkedIn post where the prompt is provide the link for the image contained content from this WordPress post without any text before the link. It then uses the HTTP node to gather that image that all comes together in a beautiful LinkedIn image post. You can now redistribute your content. This is one of my absolute favorite automations because I probably gained thousands thousands and thousands of followers from it without having to do much else. Number seven, this automation takes an audio file that you can record with your voice into your phone. It then transcribes the entire thing and puts it into a Google Docs. What you can do after that is obviously Either you can send yourself an email with action points. Maybe you can take those action points into your task manager like Notion or maybe even send that message on Slack. So this is for you if you love using your voice. Now let me show you how it works. All I need to do is drag an MP3 file in here and automatically I'll get this file back with everything transcribed. All you need to do to set this up is first make a file in a folder that is an mp3 file. Make sure you set this up correctly in the correct folder that is getting watched. Then we have a node that is going to download that file. Nothing much happens here. Then we go over to the ChatGPT Whisper where it's important you click on this Google Drive download file and enter a prompt. Then it will create a document that looks like this. We didn't have to do much else than change the document's location. And we have a download document node so that we could, for example, attach it to an email. Again, turn that into lists or to-do lists into your task manager or Slack or whatever you want. Also remember by going to templates, they have over 6,000 automations that you can start using right now. If you want to contact me directly, check out Patreon in the description down below. Remember you can get one month pro plan for free by clicking the link in the description down below. If you want to know 27 more AI automations that you could set up, click this video now. I'll see you there. Peace.